Excuse me. Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. Going to do one cast today. It's Saturday, the 4th of December. They're running almost a unit. It's a little bit harder than it has been running. I built it up here to Fall Creek and I'm going to drift down the middle of the lake and throw a 332nd ounce white jig. This one's got red thread. Four pound line on one of my six foot six medium light spinning rods. Um, water's been running about the same all day long and it's been cloudy today. Bird fishing has been fair. Kind of a busy day for a weekend in December. I got out and fished a little bit earlier today and didn't do very good. Oh, I think I might have just had a bite. See if he comes back. Trying for that first cast bite. Nothing. Well, I got out. I heard that there's been some pretty good fish caught down below the resort, so I started pretty much in front of Lazy Valley. And threw this jig and I threw a sculpin jig. I only caught one in about 45 minutes. I thought I'd, there's a bite. I thought I'd do one cast down there if it was any good, but I did talk to some guys that did, I didn't get down to Cooper Creek. Some guys fished down the Cooper Creek flats and did really good. But I did not ask them what they're throwing. They're probably fishing power bait. <laughs> I might have got a couple bites. I might have got a tap on the first cast and a tap on the second cast. So maybe they are going to bite short. I'll be a little more aggressive with the, there's a tap, same as the first two. So I'll be a little more aggressive on the, on working it, and he took it a little bit harder. It's a nice fat fish. I haven't been in the lake very long, doesn't have a lot of color. Ah, lost the hook. There we go. I'm hoping for a brown trout, maybe. They like white jigs. Lake took some friends out yesterday and he they were drifting from Short Creek to Trout Hollow. That flat they're using a what do you call it? It's like a mega worm but real short. Under a float. And he said they caught 
He caught a lot of fish. Fishing was really good. Kind of slowing the boat down as I'm drifting, letting that jig kind of work down below the boat. This area in front of Fall Creek isn't real deep. It's got a real rocky bottom. And it usually holds a lot of fish. Oh! Oh, that was a good hit. He wanted that one. Oh, and it's a brown. Little one. He nailed it. How about that? I guess he might have just been stocked. He's not that big. I saw a picture of a, a small brown like that on Facebook today. So they might have stocked those browns. It's about the size they stock them. They stock them all at one time. Got some guys that started drifting right above me. So I'm gonna move down a little bit. And the main reason for that is they're drifting in the current and I'm going slower than the current. So they drift into me. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might hit toward the bluff here in a minute.
I have been asked how long I thought they were going to run this what we call minimum flow or they're on water 24-7. Oh, I just missed one. And I don't know. Um, you know, last year they ran it most of the fall, but the lake levels were a little higher. Lake levels are low this year and they're still running it. They could turn it off any day. <coughs> We're supposed to get some rain tomorrow night, but I don't think it's going to rain very much. As dry as it is, it's not going to affect the lake levels. I'm going to head to the bluff. the other side. It's going to be quite a bit deeper over on this side. So I'm going to have to work it a little slower. I'll get back. It is really nice that these fish are starting to hit a jig again. Although I sure liked, still do, like fly fishing. Ah, that was, that was a fish. No one even close to the bottom. I've heard more than one report where guys are catching them on white, either a mega worm or a jig. So that's why I'm throwing white right now. I just missed another one. I got a orange-headed sculpin and peach on. That's another one that I've heard some good reports. I might try that. Little bit of wind blowing up like I 
I'm not throwing all the way back. I'm probably throwing two boat lengths off the back. Oh, that was bottom. And I might have some moss. Yeah, I do. Oh! Oh, I had a big old fish and it looked like a brown chase it up. I wasn't looking. You see like that moss hanging off there. Jerkbait's been catching fish. Got three weeks till Christmas. The wind is pulling me away from the bluff too. Send my condolences to John Johnson, my friend in Kingfisher, Oklahoma, for the game this afternoon. Oklahoma State got beat by Baylor. Mm, those guys. That last play was incredible. That, Guy missed a touchdown by inches. Come on, fish. Got a little hit it a little harder than what you done. My last little jerk before I reeled it in, he was there. I mean, it's like a rock. <sighs> Missing a lot of fish. Hit it. Hit it again.
and the line went slack. Oh, that might have been a fish. <sighs> Just can't seem to connect. All it takes is one, though. For those that um, are down in Branson visiting, or even locals, the Branson Parade is tomorrow night. Adoration Parade. And just up the hill, at 3rd and Atlantic, is our church, Covenant Life Church. If we have a big chili feed after the parade, we've done it for years and years. So if you're in town or or even if you live here, come on up, get some chili. I've been pulling apart my smoked chicken for um, white chicken chili that I make for it. It's a lot of fun. I've not lost a jig yet, which might mean I'm working it too fast or not getting it to the bottom because this bank, this stretch is full of trees on the bottom. That's why it's good for browns because those browns like those trees. They like to hide. And you might say, I should trim my tail. Well, it is a little long. Let me go ahead and pinch a little bit of it off. Sometimes when they're, when they hit long like that, or hit short, my tail's too long and you trim it. Sometimes it, it improves the hooking ratio. Sometimes. But sometimes if you trim it too much, you won't get the bites. came back. Oh, 
turn it It's a decent rainbow. Nope, it's a brown. Two browns. <laughs> I'd say he's a one year old. One year old in the lake. About <laughs> less than 15. Well, that's cool. I don't think I've caught two browns in one day in a while. Just like that first brown, he hit that hard. I'm using a 330 second instead of a 16th or, a, or even a 30 second because I, I knew I was going to fish this deeper water. I wanted a jig that I could get down in deeper water. I mean, an eighth ounce jig would have worked fine. I'm going to go to the other side again. Real shell side. We'll go over here in shallow water and so towards the middle. Switch to, um, we'll see. We might switch that sculpin and peach with an orange head. I 
I'm probably only fishing four feet instead of 10 or 11 feet. Well, never mind. I think I'll use white. best fish today. It's a good rainbow. Over 15 probably. That one pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, it's pushing me out in the middle. sitting at about four foot. Ooh, golly. Just one. That's pushing me in. Okay, I'm gonna throw that other color. <sighs> this is still 30, 30 second, four pound line.
open and peach with an orange head. Same rod. Ah. Oh. Dismissed one. This is pretty much all gravel over here. No wood. So you're right, not gonna get snagged on the bottom. So if I feel anything, it's probably gonna be a fish. I'm not moving very fast. The wind's kind of holding me up. I feel like a fish. That was a fish. Golly. Huh? Not bad. I mean, I'm, about, I'm catching a few. Yeah. Was it Brett? Back to getting bites. Well, let's check the tail. A tad long. I'll take off maybe a quarter inch. Not much. Probably not. Gonna make a lot of difference. I think I'm gonna go down to River Point Estates boat ramp and quit.
keep moving. I'm about to push myself down with the trolling motor. I do like this area above and below the boat ramp. I caught more big fish in this in these areas. Not sure what it is about the boat ramp, but. lot of people in town. I mean a bunch. Like I mentioned earlier in the week, Silver Dollar City has just been packed. Getting close. Mm. I think I'm gonna put that white back on though. The last little bit. Started a little bit after four o'clock, so it's starting to get kind of dark. Oh, come on. Oh. Mm hmm. That's what happens when you. Rear your oh shoot, went the wrong way. When you rear your line in all the way to the tip instead of hooking it on the rod. <laughs> Ooh. Just about on this dock. attention. Okay, now I'm going. I'd say about, mm, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I was going to say three or four casts, but we all know that might not happen.
Okay, just a couple more cast. There's one. I'm almost to the boat ramp. Oh, I got somebody fishing off the boat ramp, so I'm not going to go down that far. I don't want to get out in front of him. Another nice rainbow. This is bigger yet. This is... Oh, he's about 17. That was nice. Check the hook. Last cast. Told you I catch big fish down here. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. It was fun. See you tomorrow.